Hello and welcome, this is Sour Crowd, and we are back in Scrap Mechanic. And, um, well, there's a big unreal this time. This is my, well, kind of based uh, um, out of my head uh, on an MAN uh, 8x8 truck, which is used to the Rally Dakar, for example, and uh, was the base at the uh, Doof Wagon, for example, at the um, Mad Max movie. The uh, uh, last one. Alrighty, let's take a look. Let's get rid of the toilet. And uh, yeah, let's hop in. And uh, as I said, it's an 8x8, which means it's an 8 wheel drive car. Um, independent uh, suspension, which is um, again spring loaded. It's double uh, in the front and single in the back because the back is way lighter. Um, yeah, let's. Take it for a spin. Switch everything on again. Here we go. Okay, this is how it looks. Hope the game doesn't crash because the frame rate is absolutely awful again. There's too many bearings going on. I'm going to show you later. Yeah, uh, this is awesome to drive. Uh, this truck is really, really awesome. First, it's really heavy. And uh, secondly, the 8-wheel the drive and the suspension is, is pretty neat. I mean, yeah, and uh, the front wheels, all four of them are steering. And uh, independently, so uh, the, the, the front two, or the front axle, is steering a little bit further than the second one. That needs to be, because uh, else uh, it wouldn't turn properly. So as you can see, the angle's a little bit different on the front. Uh, Front axle. Okay, let's hope game doesn't crash too much, because it does all the time. I'm really gonna wait for for a nice uh, update. I was building a racetrack yesterday, and I cannot even load it up anymore. It's it's a bit ridiculous. Yeah, as I said, it it handles pretty well for uh, for a big truck. I haven't flipped it yet. Uh, well, it didn't do a lot of off roading, but uh, I mean, as you can see the the suspension works pretty well. It's not a double wishbone this time, it's just a single wishbone because uh, what I replicated is uh, um, basically a, a center uh, a center point for, for the suspension. So uh, there's always at least two sets of wheels on the ground. And as you uh, might notice here, it works pretty well. And it's, uh, well, it looks a little bit difficult, but it's not that bad actually. I was trying to get the, um, the springs are loaded a little bit, uh, especially in, in the front. At, um, I think I had it on percent, eight percent load through the bearing, and the rear is a bit higher because there's just one. Um, there's just one shock uh, instead of two in the front because I said the front's pretty heavy. But uh, it works works well. Okay, let's hop out. Oh, well, we don't have to hop out yet. Um, okay, the door doesn't open again. <laughs> ah, it's always the same problem. Yeah, sometimes scrap mechanic just doesn't like me. Okay, let's hop out. Uh, at roof. Okay, this button is actually for accessing the engines. It has four engines. There's um, one engine is for the for the front right wheels, one engine for the front left wheels, and uh, the same on the back. And uh, two controllers for um, for suspension. I said here it's not it's actually 10 degrees at front uh, axle 8 at the and the second axle and the, and, and the front. Uh, yeah, I forgot I had to soup it up a little bit because I put a lot of stuff in here. Uh, even though I cleared it out again because it was lagging even more. Alrighty, so this is how the suspension looks like. I'm gonna turn that off for now so you can see. And yeah, as you can see, the it does look like a double wishbone, but. Uh, 
it's not really it's not really a double wishbone it's just one and uh, the top part is basically just the the, the suspension and because it's like a swing axle it has a divot point a vivid po divot point divot point pivot here we go pivot point uh, in the middle yeah and it's always bouncy that's why it's lagging so bad so and now let's get in the back As you can see the weight distribution makes quite a lot of difference in the ride height. It'll sag a little bit in the front then. Okay, now let's enter the back. Yeah, made it comfortable to get in. Yeah, frame it is absolutely bonkers again. Yeah, this is the interior, it's two mattresses, uh, six seats. Nothing else. I had to clear out everything again. I had uh, planes and stuff in here, but yeah, unfortunately, the game didn't like that much. And when you hop in this seat, you can close the hatch again. Yeah, and uh, as always, I'll leave a link to the world map and the downloads and I hope you enjoyed until next time bye